Big change reported today in Texas for the classification of a plant once considered to be a dangerous drug. As of today, hemp is officially removed from the same group of restricted drugs like heroin and cocaine. Ken Melissina joins us live to explain. And can many people confuse hemp with marijuana? It happens all the time, Gilman and Doug. Uh, they do this because they look and they smell alike, but hemp lacks THC, which is the active chemical in marijuana that makes a person high. Well, now the state of Texas says it's okay to sell, to use, and to have it, but you still can't grow or manufacture it here. Hemp stores and advocates of its use all over Texas are cheering today. So I think that this is just only helping. Over hemp's official removal is a Schedule One drug by the Texas Department of State Health Services. A lot of people will be more familiar and it'll become a, a more talked about thing, definitely. Charles Spinks is the general manager at CBD Kratom in Dallas. They sell hemp here and a long list of products like edibles and creams infused with hemp's most popular property, CBD oil. So then you have this because this is the stuff that confuses people because this looks like marijuana. Definitely. But it's not. It's not. This is 100% hemp. You're not going to get high off of that at all. Stores like this one have been selling the hemp products for some time now, operating within gray areas of the law, but now they can do so freely. So this is a step toward allowing some of that therapeutic medicine to make its way into Texas. Lisa Pittman is a lawyer who specializes in marijuana and hemp regulations. She says while hemp is off the Schedule One list of drugs, it still cannot be grown or manufactured in Texas. But that could happen as early as next year. There is strong momentum for us to have a hemp program. There are six pending hemp bills in the legislature right now. And while the use and possession of hemp and CBD has now been cleared, Pittman says it may take some time for everyone, including authorities, to get used to that. So it's going to take a little while for the law enforcement and for the general public and governmental agencies to all get on board and understand these nuances and these new changes to the laws. Well, the move here in Texas to remove hemp from its dangerous drug classification comes after the 2018 Farm Bill that did the very same thing at the uh, federal level. And Dougie Gilman, I want to point something out because people at home might be watching this and saying, well, these stores have been around for a little bit here. Uh, the legal experts say, yes, they have been. They've been selling this stuff, but they've been kind of doing it uh, sort of uh, on the down low well, it's, it's, because the, the laws weren't clear. Yeah, the caught between this. federal right. and state, exactly. right? Yeah. We're in this real gray area right now. Right. So We're, the stores have been there. They've been selling it, uh, but because of lack of enforcement, Enforcement in the past, you know, they they, they haven't uh, you know busted some of these places, but now they are free to do it, uh, so it's uh, it's not a problem. Well, people who believe in in that side of the world and that product in particular, the the, the movement is growing. There's no denying sure. that it's getting bigger and bigger, and it's and it's you know legality is growing as well as right. we go. Ken, good look inside. We appreciate it. Thank you.